Well, y'all, I am on an island in a lake, and here's what I like to call a mudder. This guy probably fell right before recent floods we had because he's covered in silt. And we had floods that um, pretty much flooded these islands again about two weeks ago. So he probably fell just a little before then. He looks really narrow, but big mast. So what do we got? We got a really great gene. God, that's really narrow. Two or three, but really nice genes. Spectacular. Get back off for you. So uh, that's really nice stuff. Let's we'll see if I can find that match in here. And uh, boy, that's covered in silt. So right before that flood. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to look around and see what else I can find. And I will talk to you all in a bit. See ya. I'll show you something cool, y'all. I come up in this uh, island in the middle of the river and haven't been here since the huge floods of Hurricane Harvey. And look at the sandbar and bam, there's a knife. And I have no idea what kind. I'm trying to find out if it's just a little cheapo. They haven't been here long. There's no rust on it. What is this? Hmm. Let's see him make her. It says, it's Miller's Creek. Man, that sounds familiar. That's a brand. I can't remember. It's a store brand. And I can't remember what store it is. Knife's in good shape. Ooh, that's awesome. Wow. I'm so pleased with myself. Now I'm going to go look for sheds with my 15, 20 minutes of daylight. If. So, got me another knife. Awesome. All right. Well, hopefully I'll do a shed video here sometime soon. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye now. This is a close-up view of Mr. Cottonmouth and a pretty snake. Nice coloration, a younger one. That's why it's kind of brighter. As the older they get, the darker the coloration becomes. So they almost become black. And so there is a Cottonmouth. This is a venomous snake for those of you who are not from the south or southeast Texas. This snake puts you in a hospital bad. Uh, it's got a hemotoxin. This is... um. One does tissue damage. Um, not like a cobra. A cobra would be a neurotoxin. So this guy would put a scar on you you'd have for the rest of your life. You probably live, but the pain, they say, is excruciating. So uh, there's a pretty beautiful snake, and I'm going to leave his butt alone. If y'all notice, you know, I put him right at two and a half feet, roughly. Two and a half-ish. And, um... You know, what a pretty snake. And dangerous. Goodness gracious, y'all. Right on the side of his head there is something called, it's, it's a sensing pit. It's a heat sensing pit. That's why I call them pit vipers. And he has retractable fangs. They are long. He's called a cotton mouth because when he warns you away, when you're really too close, he'll show you the inside of his mouth and it's white. and show you his fangs. So I'm going to leave him be in this video and go looking for a shed antler. So y'all have a fine evening. And I will talk to y'all later. Have a nice one. Bye now.